Welcome back, guys. Um, we're going to be taking a look at Dynex for the RTX 4070. Um, we are going to be using Neuropool for the pool and then mining to Trade Ogre. Um, before we get started, as always, just show the memory. which it should be Micron, and then the GPU idle, which is about 35 to 36 watts. I'm doing this on my gaming rig, so right now currently, not including the GPU, it's about 125 to 130 watts discrepancy. Um, altogether, it's about 160 altogether. Um, this algorithm I am not all too familiar with. I'm going to be using SRB Miner. Um, this is the reason why I'm kind of uploading this a little bit late because I was trying to figure out how to uh, overclock uh, Dynex. But uh, I think I've got a little grasp on it. Um, so... Yeah, this one is... Uh, very different i think it uses more core than memory but i mean the hash rate goes up with core and memory if you add more uh core or memory um you save a couple of watts if you uh reduce the memory um the 810 memory uh, lock doesn't, uh, well, it works, but lose way too much hash rate. And then setting it to 820 or 5001, um, still lose hash rate. Usually it doesn't happen. It usually pulls back uh, some watts or I get to uh, save uh, some wattage, but not in this case, unfortunately. So we're just going to be uh, pulling back on this bad boy the old, uh, old fashioned way. But anyway... Um, with both monitors turned on off and the only software being up being MSI Afterburner and the miner, uh, we were getting 3,377 hashes per second at, it was bouncing anywhere from 81 watts to 95 watts which is pretty much a uh, efficiency of 40.21, or actually 35.55 all the way up as high as 41.61 for the efficiency. This was not very consistent with uh, the wattage. It was bouncing all over the place even after overclocking it, so I don't know if that's... something you can actually uh actually lock but it doesn't look like it looks like it just really does whatever it wants unfortunately um i looked at a couple of other older cards and it looks like uh already right off the bat it's actually pretty efficient or it puts everything else in the body bag in terms of efficiency even on stock settings but anyway uh currently right now it's uh 73 in my house and then obviously 80 fahrenheit outside but we are getting 43 to 45 c for the temperature 56 c for the memory junction temperature and 48 c to about mm, 49 c for the hot spot oh well, looks like it's still ramping up i guess 50 then it would be um so for the overclocks, we are going to actually, let's see here. Actually close this on out. Going to, and then I'll restart it again. Um, where was it at? Here we go. We're going to lock the core clock at 2505 
megahertz and then 975 millivolts and then we are going to offset it by 300 and then pull back the memory clock So with this overclock, we should be getting 3,421 mega hash, roughly. Well, it kind of bounces anywhere from 300 or no, 300, 3,000, my bad. 3,000, actually 351 to 3,389 mega hash or hashes per second, along with the wattage bouncing anywhere from 62 watts to 96 watts, which this thing is like all over the place, honestly. Uh, the funny thing is, is uh, I was getting more consistent efficiency with having both the monitors on than rather having them off. So I don't know if there's something weird going on or what, but might be able to uh, get away with using a dummy plug. But um, this efficiency for this uh, overclock goes anywhere from as low as 35.6 efficiency all the way as high as 54.05 efficiency so it's really all over the place um again this is a very uh Very cool, actually, algorithm. I just wish I had a better grasp of the algorithm. Anyway, we are getting 39 to, it looks like, 41 C for the temperature, 54 C to 56 C for the memory junction temperature, and a hot spot of 45 C to 46 C, looks like. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, testimonial will be down in the description for the actual hash rate, considering the fact that I am recording off of the GPU. So that is eating into the hash rate just a little bit. But as you can see, the efficiency is quite delicioso. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.